Hello and welcome to Power Events for PowerShell, Handling System Events with WMI. This PowerShell module is available for download at powerevents.codeplex.com. Let's start by talking a little bit about WMI Permanent Event Consumers. Permanent Event Consumers allow you to monitor system information with WMI, and it doesn't require additional software or software purchases. Unfortunately, WMI Permanent Event Consumers do not provide general purpose monitoring solutions, and it's not scalable to use in an enterprise. So what is a WMI Permanent Event Consumer made up of? First, we have a filter, and the filter allows you to define the object events that you would like to capture, which can be creation, deletion, or change events. Filters allow you to monitor what's going on inside a Windows operating system and allows you to respond to those events. Second, we have a consumer, and the, and the consumer is the second major piece of a permanent event consumer. The consumer's purpose is to respond to occurrences of events that are defined by a filter. There are several different consumer classes that you can take advantage of to determine how you would like to respond to an event. The third and final part of a permanent event consumer is the binding. And the binding is simply a glue between a consumer and a filter, and it initiates the flow of events through the WMI eventing subsystem. So three steps are in order. First, create a filter. Second, create a consumer. And third, create a binding. Quite simple. So what was life like before power events? Well, in order to, to use WMI Permanent Event Consumers, you had several options. You could manually create and compile MOF files, or Managed Object Format files. Unfortunately, MOF files have ugly syntax and are hard to create by hand. Second, you can write VB script code to create the objects in WMI. But in today's day and age with PowerShell, who really wants to deal with VB script? Boring. The third method is to manually create the objects using a GUI tool such as WBEM Test or Sim Studio. Unfortunately, because these are GUI tools, it's a slow, unmanageable process to create and manage the objects necessary to create the permanent event consumers. So that brings us to Power Events. What is Power Events? Well, first of all, it's a module for PowerShell. It allows you to easily create event filters, event consumers, and the event bindings. In addition, Power Events is also a set of knowledge. It contains comprehensive documentation on WMI permanent event consumers. It includes code samples for how to use Power Events to create the event consumers. And it gives you some ideas for where to get started for your own event filters and consumers. So you might ask, well, what can I monitor with Power Events and WMI Permanent Event Consumers? You can monitor any application that plugs into WMI with its own provider, such as Active Directory, Group Policy, Distributed File System, Microsoft Domain Name Server, System Center Configuration Manager 2007, Windows XP, Vista 7, and so on, and Internet Information Services, or IIS 6 and 7. There are other applications out there that support WMI through a custom provider, and those also can be monitored using Power Events. So what would you use Power Events for? Well, it's not an enterprise class monitoring solution, but it's great for one-off monitoring if there's something you want to detect in the Windows operating system and then respond to. Another big a uh, plus to using Power Events is that it's built right into the Windows operating system. You don't need to download any additional software or run any background services because WMI takes care of that for you. It also saves money by not requiring the purchase of additional software licenses. And finally, you can automate a lot of cool stuff in your IT environment using event-driven actions. So what are the next steps? Well, this has just been an introduction to Power Events. So your next step will be to download the Power Events module at powerevents.codeplex.com. Watch the other introductory videos on creating filters, consumers, and the filter to consumer bindings. And then explore. Explore WMI with the WMI Explorer tool from Sapien Technologies. 
It's a free community tool that is a GUI interface that allows you to browse around WMI and figure out what sort of information you can detect changes to and respond to using event consumers. Finally, go ahead and experiment. Try out the samples provided in the samples folder of the Power Events module and come up with your own ideas on how you can implement permanent event consumers. That's all for this video, but feel free to post about the Power Events module at powerevents.codeplex.com and feel free to shoot ideas to me at pcgeek86 at gmail.com. Thanks for watching and see you next time.